hi guys welcome to the channel in this video we are going to make this beautiful navbar using html and css as you can see we have a beautiful navbar with beautiful background and links with icons as well as a drop down menu and a sub menu so we are going to build this using html and css don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel for more tech and recording videos and let's get started so shift plus one for bullet blade there we go our title which is a drop down menu okay let's link our css Let's link it. I have also another link. Go to Google and uh, type font awesome, and then you will find these links. So you can also grab from there. We we'll use that for our icons. Let's come to our body, and the first thing is one div with a class of many. UL in our UL we will have LI and we have a tag and I will give that to hash so uh, let's write our, our menu so the first one is home shift plus alt plus down arrow and duplicate more six times so let's come here and uh, change about this one is service uh, clients it's pricing and there's training and the last one is contacts okay so now um yeah let's play let's save and see Go to live using live server. And we have our lists here. So let's add our menu and the sub menu also. Like these ones. The drop downs, those ones. We'll add these ones. Oh, just let's style first our, our menu. Let's style our menu and then we will add our drop downs later. Let's first add class to our home. It's active. Active. We need also to add here um, icons. So let's add icons. I. Yeah, class of FA, FA dash home. Okay, let's go to our website, and there we have one icon. Let's add also icons to other lists. Class. F A F A dash user. Let's copy this and add all of all of them. Okay. So services and say clown. Let's also add here. So it's uh, users, pricing. So here we'll put on a sign which is uh, I and R. Training. And let's make here edit. Okay. 
in our contacts let's make it fun so there we go we have home user our services we have users i mean clients we have money sign All right that money we can change this to usd yeah we have a dollar sign and here training training and we have context so let's go to our css and the style our links so as you can see here we have an image also one image and that image in that uh, folder image we have also img1 which is an image that i want to use for background just like this one it's this image so you can use other image um okay so let's style let's go to css okay imagine zero adding zero and let's come to our body so first background background image it will be a uh, URL. Dot slash image IMG one. Okay. Background position is Sandra. Okay. Background uh, size will be cover. Or box sizing box sizing will be border box okay the other thing is uh, font family font family I would like to use bubbles and some serif all right so there we go we have our image now let's style our lists so let's come here and uh, style our our div menu and first thing is the background color zero and uh, next one is 100 and the last one is it's also zero okay next align it's center so there we go we have our background nf background and our list is aligned center okay let's come here and uh, style our ul so we'll say display inline flex dash flex listing style which is none and color will be white color will be white okay so there's our ul everything now is aligned horizontally so let's style our menu ul li and with 120 pixels 120 pixels margin is 15 pixels font size is 20 pixels okay so everything now is aligned horizontally it's okay
Now let's style our menu U L L I A and text creation uh, text creation none text creation none and the color is also white. There we go. We have our lists now. Let's style the icons. So dot active. Okay, comma. Dot menu. UL. Let's say background color. And that is hexadecimal. To be a B zero B. Okay. And the border radius of three pixels. And there we go. And hover. See the colors changing on hover. And this home is active. Okay, let's come here and uh, let's style our menu and uh, FA and let's give a right right of 10 pixels. Oh, that's too big. Let's make it 5 pixels. Okay, yeah, that's good. Now let's go back to our uh, HTML and uh, let's give, let's add uh, sub menus just like this ones. Like this ones. Okay. So we'll go here. And we'll come to our about. For the closing tag of li here, but first we'll add a class a class to our li itself, and that class is let's say just turn dash right. So we'll come here, and we'll have a div. Which uh, says sub menu, sub dash menu. And that div will have ul and uh, li, and it will be okay. Fiction. And let me just let me duplicate three, three more times. This will be. Uh, Mission, mission, and this will be goals. Last one is objectives. All right, so let's go back to our. Yeah, this link is also playing under. All right, let's go on a style our sub menu. Really, let's go to our CSS. And I style our sub menu. So the first thing is our sub menu. Display. Will be none. Let's go back and we don't have nothing. Okay. Come here and let's say menu. U L L I and a whole four and sub menu and say display block Hit display block and the position. 
البي ابسوليت انا باك جراوند هذا وانس 100 عند هذا وانس 0 اوكي سو كم هي انت ليتس كيف مارجن توب which is 15 pixels and let's give margin left of negative 15 pixels and there we go okay so let's start all right so let's say Our menu U L L I on how far dot sub menu U L okay and I will make that display block and I will give margin of ten pixels. Right, and now you see everything is facing down. All right, let's grab this. Paste it here. I will add li. So let's style. So width 180 pixels adding of 10 pixels border one pixel dotted color will be white Sorry. The ground will be transparent. Next align. Left. So let's see. Oh, we have a problem. So let's solve this problem. Okay, what's wrong here? Uh, so it's part bottom or dash bottom. Let's also add or radius of zero. Let's see, and it's okay. Yeah, that's good. So now let's remove the last line. So after objectives, we don't need another line there. So let's remove that. All right. So let's come here and grab all of this. So let's copy this. Let's see it here. So last child, I'll say last child. Yes. And that will be or bottom will be none. None. And there we go. We don't have a line in there. Okay. Now let's also come here and paste it again and add, oh, sorry. Add a let's say on hover color to be to b f f zero zero okay there we go let's also add the other sub menu so let's go here grab this one and copy it and let's add to our services. 
So the last li of here, yeah, we'll add there, and here let's also give the, that class of then right. Okay, so now it must be the same, but let me change. Let me change this. So oh, okay, so there we go. Now we have two drop down menus. Okay, so let's do our sub menu. Let's come here. And paste it here. Okay, so we'll, we'll call it submenu 2. And here we'll rename all of them. And this, and here, we'll have arrow, right turning arrow, or the right arrow, okay, with a class of FA, uh, FA dash angle, that's right. All right, so let's see. Okay, so there we go. We have the arrow, and we need when we hover off of this, this will, will be at the right, like this, like this. Okay, so now let's style it. So let's grab that FA dash angle that's right now we'll say float float right okay so we have the arrow which is floating to the right all right so let's style our submenu two and i will grab submenu Dash two, and we will say display, and we'll set to none. So we don't. Okay, so let's style our submenu two. They dot turn right, turn dash right. Okay, and when it's on hover. And hover and also sub menu sub menu two so let's set display block and um, session I set that to absolute background Let's set that to that color and uh, okay, margin top, margin dash top, and uh, let's, let's make that minus 40 pixels, negative 40 pixels. Let's see. All right. So let's uh, also give imagine lefty. Okay. Imagine dash left. Let's set that to 140 pixels. And there we go. Wow. Isn't that cool? 
Look at this. This is the other one. And this is the new one. So almost the same. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel for more tech and recording videos.